What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another Scum video. I hope you're all doing well, as always. Thank you very much for going and support the channel, guys. Greatly appreciated. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you all about the traps. So, there are silent traps and traps that can give you notifications and stuff like that around your base. This is going to be very handy for those who are mainly solo-based and build little bases like this. If you are a squad, uh, if you are a squad, uh, then it, obviously you're going to have a bigger base and it's, it's going to be better protected and stuff like that as well. But you can still use... Uh, a lot of these uh, traps as well. So I'm going to show you exactly how they work. Now, if I quickly just have a look in my crafting menu, you can see them here in the no skill blueprint section. So you can see the flare trap, the firework trap, and the silent alarms. Now I'm going to show you um, what these do and how they can help you as well. So especially if you're out looting, what's going to happen is, is you're going to get a notification that someone is around your base or even inside your base, depending on how many notifications you guys find as well so if we just have a quick look over here i'm going to have a look at the we've got a flare trap here we've got the firework trap and we've got the silent trap now the silent trap is the one that gives you the notification and it does state that here in silent alarm as well and obviously you've got the firework and the flare trap as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what these do now you do need to have a flag so i do have a flag in that base there if you do build it without a flag what's going to happen is is it's not gonna uh, you are gonna set it off yourself if you have no flag if you have a flag then you're not gonna set it off it's only other people who are not squatted uh, and anyone else out there so what's gonna happen is is my accomplice here is gonna show you exactly what happens when she walks into the area of this you can see she has now set the trap off and what that sets off is a flare at night time that does look a lot better you can see the flare just about there on the right hand side of the sun and you will see it come down as well and that's just to, to deter uh, the enemy from trying to get in your base here we have a firework trap uh, and it's the, basically the same thing that you're going to see uh, happen here so if you have a look she's going to do the same thing here and set this firework trap off and as you can see it's brilliant for uh, deterring people that are around your base. Sometimes it works, sometimes it won't. But as you can see, we've got the fireworks going off right now. Very nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the silent trap. Now this is the one that gives you the notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over it and I can also show the trigger area. So if you look under here, it's kind of glitched underneath. Uh, you can see the sort of trigger area. So if I turn that off, uh, let's turn that back on. Right, okay. So if I do this and now she's going to walk into that area, I'm going to get a notification on the right hand side at the top of my screen, which you can see. There. Actually, I'm going to redo that. I'm going to redo that. Stand by, stand by. I actually had I actually had my UI off. Let me just let me just redo this. Hold on. So let me just quickly build this and let me just arm this. Now you can actually disarm these, but I don't have a demolition skill right now, and you can do that using these wire cutters as far as I'm aware. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do it again. Um, so she's going to walk into it now. You're going to see a notification at the top of the screen here. There you go. Something has triggered your silent alarm. So you can see that that one does give you the trigger. Um, apologies about that, guys. I, I completely had um, my HUD off and everything else. So what I'm going to show you now is... So what my accomplice is going to do now is we're going to go into... The, it, she's going to go up to the base. Um, and then she's going to walk inside. So um, she's going to pretend that she's going to lockpick it. And you're going to see what happens. So let's say I'm away. So, she's going to walk up to the base. Now, let's pretend I'm looting somewhere else. I don't know what's going on here. Is there someone outside the front of my base? And there you go. I've got two trigger alarms on the top right-hand side of the screen. I turn around. And as you can see, she's managed to get her way in. And she's obviously gone over the fireworks as well. Which you can see here. So, I'm going to wait for the fireworks to finish before I go over to the next bit. And all these are our triggers, ladies and gents. So I've, you can see the radius for these. Um, the fireworks do not have a radius, uh, but the but the silent alarm does. The silent alarm is the only one with a radius. You, all you have to do is be within this sort of red area 
and then it will trigger it. So let's say I planted one near the car. If someone goes near the car, um, you can see what's going to happen here. I'm going to get a notification as she walks into that area. Something has triggered your silent alarm. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, again, just to sort of clarify and show you guys, um, she's now going to walk over here to get into the base. So obviously it is obvious that there is something at the front door, but they have to trigger it to raid. They have to trigger it. So I placed one here and I placed one inside. And there's also a couple over here as well. So she's now going to go over there, pretend to lockpick, and she's going to pretend to raid and stuff like that. So you can see how these alarms do help, especially when you're outside of the base and you are away. Um, hopefully this video has helped you. Uh, if it has, guys, please don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and also don't forget to comment down below in the in the uh, in the comment section as well, and let me know if you even knew about this. Um, so hopefully this has helped you. So with that being said, stay safe, much love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.